Hey, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do pull-ups or chin-ups for beginners. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to today's instructional workout. My name's Frank. If you don't know me by now, I'm a certified personal trainer and fitness nutrition coach with my three main goals of helping you feel, move, and look better through mobility, training, and nutrition. And in today's video, we're gonna be breaking down the pull-up and the chin-up. This is another video request. So if you have any requests or you have any comments or videos you would like to see, please drop those down in the comment section below and I'd be more than happy to answer them. So in today's video, I did get a request on how to do pull-ups and chin-ups, how to do it for beginners. Now, obviously I'm here in a gym setting or a gym environment, so if you don't have a gym or access to any equipment, I'm gonna put a couple of links to some resistance bands and also an assisted pull-up bar that you can possibly put in your doorway. And then again, also a step stool. You can pretty much find everything on Amazon and we're gonna be able to use those tools to help us build our back and also it's gonna help us build our arms but correctly do pull-ups and chin-ups. All right, so we're gonna get right into it. So we have a resistance band, as you can see here. I just looped it through over the top and threaded it through. Obviously, if you have an assisted pull-up machine, that will work really great because you can adjust the weights, but if not, you can also use any kind of varied resistance. Some of them are, might be 50 to 75 pounds, some could be 10 to 20, 25, and I believe the one we're using is roughly maybe 15 to 25 pounds or so. So Jen's back here with me. She's gonna demonstrate some of these pull-ups. Obviously, when you're first starting off, you're gonna to wanna to use a step stool or maybe an exercise bench. We just have a step stool here and I'm gonna help her out. If you were doing this on your own, it does get a little funky sometimes, but you can get this resistance band and then literally you're gonna kinda of wanna like pull this thing down and bring your knee up. So obviously do some of my mobility videos so you can increase that hip mobility, but you're literally gonna pull and then put your foot on the top of that band. But since I'm here with Jen, I'm gonna help her out with this. So Jen, we'll hop onto the step stool here. And again, what we're gonna start off and do is we're gonna go in with that semi-supinated grip. So we're gonna actually bring our hands out just a little bit. Your biceps are actually stronger in this position or in a neutral grip position. You will actually feel more lats in the beginning here, but the biceps are weaker, so you can get a better contraction in the back if your hands are in close. So she's gonna get her foot, we're gonna step onto the top, and then what I like to do, once she steps on, cross the other foot back, okay? Now step one, let's not, yeah, they won't even worry about pulling up, let's just retract the shoulder blades. So retract the shoulder blades and then come, yeah, so retract the shoulder blades, pull, yep. So wait, come back down, don't even use the arms, just retract your shoulder blades and then relax and now retract them. There you go, and then right back down. And then retract and then right back down. One more time, retract and right back down. That's step one. Now once you get that scapular retraction, now we're gonna pull up. So pull up and imagine your chest to the ceiling. Boom, hold it right there. She's doing a very beautiful job. Now do a bad form real quick. Roll your shoulders over the top. So yeah, come all the way down. Now do an ugly one, <laughs> pull all the way up, pull. That's what most people do. They, they have their shoulders around it. So now pull your chest to the ceiling, good form, boom. So you can see all the muscles in her back are finally contracting and then come back down. So when you first start to pull, let's just keep it rolling. You wanna retract those shoulder blades and then lean back and imagine like you're trying to pull your chest to the ceiling. So you're letting your back do the work. As you can see, that's perfect form. Everybody else is sometimes just rounding their shoulders. So you wanna have that chest out, shoulder blades back and almost like you're looking up at the ceiling. Let's come back down, inhale, breathe in. Let's get about a couple more. So again, we're using the muscles in our back. She's definitely feeling her arms too. But again, work in the back, and if you can't go all the way up and you're getting tired, like she's starting to get fatigued, come back down, let's get one more, Jen, all the way down, coming back up. You can just go about halfway. Shoulder blades back, boom, right there. And good, and then let's drop it back down. Nice and easy, stepping off, and we'll bring that band off. Obviously, if you're by yourself or on your own, sometimes getting that foot off the band can be a little difficult, but as you can see, I was, I was demonstrating on there, you just wanna make sure you keep those shoulder blades pulled back the whole time. Even if you can't go all the way up, start getting that form and just start getting the motion down. So, for example, if I was here by myself, again, I have this band, and then again, I just wanna pull this down enough and bring my foot up enough so I can get my foot just around into the band. And then, if I have this step stool here, I can kick it away or I may leave it there. So I'll just kick it forward, and I'll have my hands behind. Again, full stretch retract the shoulder blades, leaning back, pulling all the way up. Watch from rounding the shoulders, dropping the shoulder blades back, coming all the way down and up. Obviously, I've done this a few times, so I can place my feet here, let my foot come up. You wanna make sure you have some decent mobility down. Obviously, you're gonna be doing this at home, and that's why I wanted to create today's video, because if you don't have access to a pull-up bar um, or an assisted pull-up machine at the gym, 
you want to make sure you leverage that band. So I'll put the links down in the description. You can get these on Amazon. They're not too bad to find. Actually, I think sometimes maybe some resistance bands can be a little tough, but I'll put a few different links for some resistance bands. I'll put a step stool. Also, I'll put an exercise bench. And then that way I also put a pull-up bar too, so you can start practicing these pull-ups and get your back in better shape. Now, again, we can move and go to a wider grip. So for example, if we want to do pull-ups with a wide grip, that's not generally a way I like to start off doing them because the biceps are actually very weak in that position. And most people will argue, oh yeah, I definitely feel the lats more. But if you think about it, when you're in that wide grip position, for example, and I'm hanging on, I'm pulling, I definitely get a lot of lats, but you know, mind muscle connection, I really feel it on the outside. They're getting into it a little bit, but when you have your hands closer, your biceps are stronger in that position. So a true chin up when your hands are in super close, you're going to feel a lot of biceps. But if I, I like doing it in a semi supinated or just semi neutral position, I can get a deeper squeeze in my lat. So for example, when I'm up here and I'm jumping up and I'm pulling up, I'm leaning back, I can go really high and I feel that all the way in the middle of my shoulder blades going all the way down into the middle of my back. Okay. Now also as you progress through this and you're able to start to get a few repetitions, your body is actually 20 to 30% stronger on a negative. So Jen, we're going to come on back and then we're going to get an exercise bench. So I like using this when doing um, the negatives. I want something a little bit higher than a step stool. So that way I'll be able to step on there and lower myself down. So I'm going to take off the band and then Jen, all what we're going to do is we're going to step onto the bench. You're going to put your hands in that same underhand grip position. And what I want you to do, Jen, is I want you to just jump all the way up and then hold and then let yourself down slowly and then reset. Good. And then reset, take a break. Yep. And then coming up, leaning back as best you can. Good. We all have a natural tendency to round the shoulders. Then it's okay. Take a break for a second and then jump up again with the chest to the ceiling. There you go. Good. Perfect. See how she stopped right there. If she went any higher, she would start breaking form and rounding her shoulders. Yep. Let's keep it going. Jump up as high as you can. Boom. Right there. Good. Obviously she's starting to get a little fatigued as you can see. And that's okay. Let's get one more rep, but she's jumping up. She's holding it, controlling it, and then lowering herself down slow. Good. Take a break. Awesome. Jen. So that is a great way to get stronger at pull-ups because again, you don't have to have all the strength in the beginning to do them. Practice it with a band so you can feel that contraction in your back. Once you make that mind muscle contraction and you can feel it, then you can start doing the negatives. And then after you're able to get to negatives, then you can start doing those body weight pull-ups like I showed you a few right there. So I hope these tips help. Definitely drop a link down in the comment section or not drop a link, but just go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you thought and I'd be more than happy to help you out because pull-ups, man, I'll tell you when I was 23, that was honestly when I first started doing them. When I was in high school and weight training, we used to do squats and chest presses, squats and chest presses, legs upper. And I never did my work, my back at all. And I got three shoulder injuries all the time before I was 22. So I didn't start doing pull-ups until later, but it's so important that you build the backside of your body because we always generally focus what we're looking on in the front. So go ahead and click on this card right here. It's one of my first workouts I did with another client, a friend of mine, Tracy, and we just worked on the back side of the body. So that's a whole great workout that you can do that has a TRX, has some lunges and all sorts of stuff for your legs and butt. But again, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new here, please go ahead and subscribe, click that notification bell so you never miss any of my latest content. And also go ahead and click on this card right here too. I'm going to have an exercise tutorials playlist. I will be adding to that in the future. And this workout today will be featured in that playlist because it's so important that you do work the back side of your body. Most of my follow along workouts done without any weights or equipment, you just can't really target your back as well as you could with a machine or doing pull-ups. And the very first personal training certification I ever got, they said, if you want to get nicer arms and have a nice back, you're going to start doing pull-ups and that's just the best way to do it or chin-ups. So again, thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next workout. I keep on working, got purpose and worth. Music's my cure in this world is my purse. Get rid of this curse with every reverse. Of course I've been hurt, but I'm not much worse. Leave me alone, get out of my head. Walk out the opinions until I am dead. They all go to sleep, but you listen instead. Listen some more and you'll cease to regret. I keep on working, I got it on track. You gonna see my name up on a flag. I sail the ship and I'll never come back. I keep this bitch on the line to attack. Never look back. I make a record like crash. Top of my bracket, I smash. I'm like a pack. I'm about to stack it like cash. It's gonna happen so fast. Change myself.